How's it going everyone? I'm Vladimir from V Power Fit and welcome to a segment I like to call Ask the Trainer. So in this we're gonna I'm gonna answer questions and in future episodes I want you guys to submit questions and you can do that by commenting below or hitting, hitting up my Instagram vpower021 and DM me whatever questions that you want answered that are fitness related. But since it's the first episode I'm going to answer seven questions that I pretty much get on a day-to-day -day basis, okay? So question number one, why do I need a personal trainer? So the easiest way to answer this is when you want something done by a professional, you hire a professional. A personal trainer is somebody who's versed in the fitness world. Your personal trainer is supposed to help guide you not only to get to your fitness goals, but help you bypass all the BS that comes with the fitness world. Um, another thing that I like to tell people is that, just think about this, me being a personal trainer myself, if I wanted to be a bodybuilder, let's just say, I would go hire a coach or a personal trainer who specializes in bodybuilding. If I wanted to increase my vertical jump, I would go to a personal trainer who specializes in me increasing that personal jump. So whatever your fitness goal is. Get yourself a personal trainer who will help guide you and help you obtain those fitness goals. How many days per week or how often should I work out? Now, for everybody it's a little different, but generally speaking, they say you should work out three days a week or 150 minutes per week of moderate exercise. If you break that across those three days, that's 50 minutes per day for that whole week or 75 minutes of vigorous exercise. And that's, if you equate that across those three days, that's 25 minutes per day. So you're not even working a full hour when you're doing 150 minutes on those three days. Do I use barbells or dumbbells when lifting weights? And there's no right or wrong answer to this. In my personal opinion, you should use both, okay? Even the cable machines, but again, Barbell, dumbbell, you can use them both. It's more of a preference thing. Um, if you're trying to get stronger, it's easier to get stronger with a barbell on certain exercises because you're able to load more weight on a bar than let's say a dumbbell because most gyms don't have anything over 125 pounds as a dumbbell. Depending on which gym, I think Planet Fitness has what? Up to 50. UFC gym has up to 125, like most gyms have up to 125 pounds. Unless you go to a special gym, you're not gonna find anything more than that. Now, what I like dumbbells is, whatever strength imbalance or muscle mass that you may have, like your right arm is stronger than your left arm, the dumbbell, with dumbbells, you can't hide that. So if I do a flat bench press with dumbbells, my left arm has to pick up that 75 pounds by itself it won't be held by my right arm, and so forth. But, I also get a more of a contraction on certain exercises, such as the bench press, because I'm able to, when you bench press with a barbell, your hands are fixed to the bar, as opposed to dumbbells, where you can actually bring your arms together and get a tighter squeeze. But again, for some exercises, it's more beneficial. For other exercises, it doesn't mean that. How do I lose my gut and tone up? The thing about people with quote unquote guts and people who want to tone up, is this, it comes down to body fat. When you have excessive body fat, that's where the gut comes in. Those are where the roles come in, right? And to tone up, you have to lose a certain amount, you have to bring your body fat percentage to a certain level so you can look toned up while you build muscle, right? So how do you achieve this, right? It's three steps. And I wrote a blog about each of these three steps in detail. The link will be in the description below, but pretty much you need to A, eat right, B, exercise or do some type of activity, and C, which a lot of people neglect is, you need to rest and you need to recover. If you don't do any of these, which I call the three pillars, you are not going to get the maximum results that you possibly can. If you're sleeping as much as you should, which is for about eight hours a day, plus eating right, 
you're not gonna get the extra benefit with somebody who works out as opposed to somebody who doesn't work out. If you work out and you sleep, but you're not eating right, you're not gonna achieve the goals that you're looking for. If you're um, working out and eating, but not and eating right and not sleeping and getting the rest that you need, you're not gonna get the results that you want. So you have to do all three in concert. And that goes for not just losing, losing the gut, the belly, the quote unquote body fat, but that also goes with toning in which you're building muscle as well as losing the body fat. Which is the best diet? And to be completely honest, I hate this question because everybody has a different opinion on this. Me and my partner Ryan of ClickFit, we actually did a podcast and that link will be in the description. We did a whole podcast about diets. So to quickly answer that question, the answer is, if it's whatever diet you can stick to. If you cannot stick to a diet, it's not going to work. If you can stick to a diet, it will work. All diets are have restrictions of what you can and what you can't eat, but at the end of the day, it all comes down to calories. How many calories are you eating as opposed to how many calories are you burning? It is really, it is really that simple. Anybody else tell you otherwise is lying to you and they're just trying to push that diet because it works for them. Now, that's not to discount what these diets can do for you. These diets, like I said, these diets do work. But the only thing they have in common is that they restrict calories to a certain degree because there's certain things you can and cannot eat. But like I like to tell some of my clients, if you eat 3,500 calories in, of salad, as much as salad is supposed to be good for you, you're still eating 3,500 calories of a salad and you just gain a pound through salad. So watch what you eat and whatever diet you can stick to. And when I say stick to, I mean like, this is a whole lifestyle change. You can see yourself eating like this for the rest of your life. That's the diet you stick to. Do cardio first and then lift weights or should I lift weights first and then do cardio? The question, to, the answer to that question is plain, pretty plain simple. It depends. The reason why it depends is each goal should be hit. Each goal has a different plan to achieve that goal. And if you're not sure of how to get to that, get a personal trainer who will outline that for you and guide you through that whole process. So in my humblest opinion, if one of your goals is, hey, I want to put on muscle or I want to build strength, or power, you would lift weights first, then do your cardio last. And just to be, sh just to make sure we're on the same page, when I say cardio, I'm talking about running on the treadmill for a mile or for miles, being on a bike for 20 minutes, half an hour, such. I'm not talking about the thing you do as an initial warm up. A warm up, a warm up is in the name, is to increase your internal body temperature, which helps the muscles be a little bit more pliable and get them ready for a workout. That is not cardio. That's not what I'm talking about when I say cardio. Cardio, I mean like going for a two mile run, doing whatever it is, you're doing a elliptical on a treadmill and all those things, that's cardio. The reason if you're trying to get stronger, you're trying to build muscle, the reason why you do your cardio last, in my humblest opinion, of course, is because when it comes to those type of goals, the lifting of the weights is more important than the cardio aspect. Not saying lifting weights is more important than cardio, but for that goal, the lifting weights is more crucial to their muscle growth and strength as opposed to cardio. Now, if you're just trying to be overall fit, overall just trying to lose weight, do your cardio first, and then you can lift weights later because the lifting of the weights is not as important as the cardio part of your workout. So again, figure out what it is as your goal and outline that goal. And if you're having trouble figuring out what to do as a workout, get yourself a personal trainer. So those are the questions that I find that people tend to ask me all the time. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, again, we're gonna have future, future episodes where I want you guys to submit your questions and let me know what it is that you wanna know. What questions do you ask that you need answers to? And what I guys want you to do is click the notification bell and when we come out with new videos, you'll know when I come with new videos. So, 
Let's keep rocking and as a community, let's be the best version of ourselves and build each other up.